Oh boy, do I love St. Patrick's Day so much. It's easily in my top five favorite holidays that we don't really even celebrate, but we still wish each other a happy St. Patrick's Day. I just love the festivities and the atmosphere. Hey man, you do realize that St. Patrick's Day was about a week ago? About a week ago. Ah, I love St. Patrick's Day so much. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> well, I guess that's it. St. Patrick's Day is ruined. If only there were some sort of food product, more specifically a certain brand of cereal, that upheld this holiday's beliefs and values. <sighs> I suppose that's asking a little too much of the script writer. Wait, that's me. Oh yes, how could I forget about Lucky Charms? This charming little leprechaun is a cereal mascot giant who is as close to something St. Patrick's Day esque as you'll come by. I don't know though, normal Lucky Charms don't really bring that holiday spirit I'm looking for. Try it! Try it! Well, now what? I still gotta review something for the video. Cereal review. Limited edition Lucky Charms Magic Clovers. Welcome to how to make cereal. First, you need the bowl. Da bowl, more like da baby. Let's go. Second, you need the cereal. Thirdly, here comes What's the meal. Lastly, a spoon to eat it with. Oh my god! Let's go! Even after eating the questionably marketable cereal, I still felt empty on the inside. All hope was lost. Unless... Of course, the key to rekindling that St. Patrick's Day spirit is through the green milk! Nah, I'm just playing, it looks kinda nasty. The moral of today's episode is that St. Patrick's Day doesn't actually exist. Tell me right now. Do you know anybody in your life who's Irish? No. Because they don't exist. Now, before I dive into these special lucky charms, I have to take a jab at the plain old normal kind. This cereal is the definition of GHH. I mean, I wouldn't buy it at the grocery store myself, but if I'm at somebody else's house and that is the only cereal they got, then dang, homie, let me get a bowl. Magically delicious. More like magically mediocre. I legit would not believe someone if they said this was their favorite cereal. To its credit, however, I do respect that it is the original marshmallow cereal that every big hitter brand is trying to copy nowadays. So, does this fancy limited edition green box improve anything? Absolutely not. If you put a blindfold onto someone and made them eat both the bowl of the normal and limited edition kind, not even the combined efforts of Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking could tell the difference. They are virtually the same exact cereal, the only difference being the marshmallows. You know, for this being the limited edition box you think there would be more marshmallows compared to the original. Nope. The mallows we do have are festive, but it's a bit weird seeing the normal one still on the side of the box. The biggest feature of the cereal is the magic clovers that turn the milk green. 
as you can see it's not nearly as green as shown on the box cover, it's more of a light minty green, which I guess we should be glad your milk doesn't turn into this dark green color, I don't want to be thinking about Shrek's big toe while drinking the after cereal milk, Lucky Charms Magic Clover gets a 2 and a half out of 5 bowls, it was a fun little treat for St. Patrick's Day, but just like the holiday it's pretty mid. Charm cereal, part of a good breakfast. Get more magic with mini charms.